going on people don't want to talk too loud because it's seven o'clock in the morning on a Sunday and yeah everybody's still sleeping but uh, what I'm gonna be doing today is running a mile every hour and then in between those miles I'll have like 45 50 minutes to be productive and so that's what I'm gonna do I'm gonna run a mile and then be productive whether that's reading writing um, eating <laughs> and working on something I'm gonna try to be productive mowing the lawn something like that so yeah follow me through it's a little journey here and uh, we'll get some stuff done all right mile everybody's starting to wake up starting their walk going to church all that good stuff uh, in between the first mile and this mile eat some fruit read a book well not a whole book but you get it read some of the book I'm a slow reader sir I'm a slow reader so uh I didn't get very much reading done, <laughs> but I tried. I tried to concentrate. And then uh, deleted a whole bunch of emails, like 250 junk mail uh, emails. So yeah, kind of productive. Um, I don't know what I'm gonna do in between this second and third mile but I'll figure something out. I think it's too early to mow the lawn yet. Grass is kind of wet, so I will figure something out. All right, I'll keep you updated. I decided to sit outside on our deck. Um, I was gonna play with the dog, but she was too occupied with a chipmunk, so <clears throat> Yeah, I was trying to get her to play with me, but I couldn't, so. And then I got sleepy, and <laughs> I kind of fell asleep in this chair. So, I kind of needed it, so. What can you do? Uh, yeah, that's that's what's happening right now. I'm about to go for a third run in about 10 minutes, so keep you posted. After this run, I might... See if the wife wants to play cards or do something together. Um, something that's productive. Makes you think. Or I will write or something. So, yeah, stay tuned. Thanks for watching. Third mile. I'm about a quarter of a way. Can't talk. Can't talk and run at the same time. I'm about a quarter of the way done. Um... I don't know, kind of feeling weird on this one. I think I'm getting shin splints. Not sure. I don't think I've ever gotten shin splints. Uh, my hamstring is kind of acting up, so that's a thing. But uh, I don't care. We're gonna push ourselves today. We're gonna keep it moving. So, yeah, just a little update. Um, now that I'm like, in the groove of running it's getting better but still kind of acting up a little bit my sh my my shins you all know i got tiny skinny legs so this is a lot of work for them <laughs> so yeah i will keep you updated all right
doing laundry, I guess. Mile four, feeling real good. Uh, in between three and four, as you saw, I was doing laundry, played a game with the wife, a uh, card game, King's Corner, and then we chopped up some veggies for a beef stew, um, which I find ironic because what inspired me to do this, the guy that inspired me to do this, his name is Bo Miles, I think, and he would run a mile every hour for 24 hours. Now I'm not going to do that, I'm just going to do like 10, try to be productive in between, but anyway, in between his miles he was chopping up veggies and beef and everything and making stew so I just found that kind of funny so uh yeah not sure what I'm doing after this one I guess we'll see what the future brings all right peace She kicked my ass. Now five. This one's rough. My hips are tightening. It's getting hotter outside. And uh, yeah, I'm sore. <laughs> but we're gonna keep it moving. And uh, I'll keep you updated. I'm hurting right now though. This is rough. Everything hurts. I'm not even halfway done. Help me. I am at the point where I'm questioning why I'm doing this. I'm so tired. And it's only halfway done, so. Yeah. Fuck. <laughs> right now I am stretching and uh trying to <laughs> gather myself so i can keep going because this is rough it's getting hot outside yeah so all right bye mile six just started um as i was stretching i fell asleep for a little bit. Magically woke up at noon. So yeah, we're good there. But uh yeah, everything hurts still. I'm in a lot of pain. <laughs> but it's all good. I keep it moving. Um yeah. I don't know what else to say. I'm running on the track now. I'm not running on the sidewalk, so hopefully this is a little bit better on my knees and feet and stuff, so yeah, keep you updated. All right. Mile 
about seven. Knees hurting, but I expected that. Um, in between mile six and seven, I mowed the lawn and I wasn't tired. I like was at peace. I felt very relaxed, very calm, not physically or mentally tired at all. So I don't know. A little help napped, I guess. So that little nap helped, I guess. So it was good. We're gonna keep it moving. All right. Mile eight. As you can see, I'm walking because my knee is just killing me. It's giving me some shit, so we're not gonna push it that hard, I guess. Uh, I do want to run. It's taken everything for me not to run, but I don't know. Maybe next mile I will bike or something, or just walk with the wife and dog. Who knows? But yeah, my knee is not doing well. It doesn't help that I'm mowing lawn while I'm doing this. So yeah, I just got done mowing the backyard and uh, chilling on the deck with the wife. And it's funny because our dog, Jazz, she sees a chippy. I think I mentioned that earlier. She sees a chippy and she just will not let it go. She's in the big bush and, and on the side of the house there and she's in the rocks and she almost had it. As I was mowing the back, uh, the chippy, well, the first thing I saw was Jazz tear up my wife's flowers. I'm like, oh shit. So then I turned the, you know, I uh, turned the mower off, ran over there like, what the hell's going on? Well, the chippy was scurrying up on the deck, so. Jazz would not listen to us. We were trying to tell it, her to go get it and to catch it so she would leave it, you know, so she would stop doing this. I don't know. Stop running around, acting a fool. But it ended up going back under the deck. And now she's back to square one, where she was before. So... It was funny, but it's getting annoying. <laughs> so I don't know. Yeah, so that's the update. Hope you're all having a great day and your knees are feeling better than mine. All right, peace. We have like 127,000 bees in our backyard. So we looked it up and we are going to be making a vinegar and water mix. And that's supposed to, uh, that's supposed to, uh, that's supposed to make them go away, so hopefully they do after I do this, so we'll see. Never mind. I'm eating now. We don't have a spray bottle, so can't really do it right now. So I'm eating. Now I'm probably going to weed whack. Jazz is in there somewhere, waiting for Chippy to come out. Don't know where she is, but she's in there somewhere. <laughs> Back walking. I am walking with, as you can see, there's Jazz. Jazz, say hi. No, we're at that part where she, uh, goes nuts because of all of the woods over here so yeah but yeah spent that last hour with the wife and then i read some stuff online and that was about it so nothing too crazy this is my ninth mile and then 
got one more after that, so should be all right. Mile number 10, this is it. Feels good to be almost done, but it doesn't feel good because my right knee, or I'm sorry, my right hip and my left knee are just killing me right now. So yeah, I think I did a little bit too much. So the guy that inspired me to do this did a 24 uh, mile type thing. Like, mile an hour but he did it for 24 hours and he kept at it and he was building stuff and I don't know how we did it man I just did 10 hours and it's brutal I mean he's probably in much better shape than I am he probably does this for a living crazy shit like this but yeah nuts but we're almost done um, in between 9 and 10 as you saw, as you saw, I did some weed whacking. And then after this mile, I'm gonna be done, but I gotta do a couple more things around the house. And then I can finally shower. I feel so gross. Shower, I think my wife wanted to play cards again, so we're gonna do that. So yeah, thanks for joining me on this little journey. It was something new, something nice to do. Uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed it. It wasn't a huge big production. It was just like documenting things The guy that did it the, the guy that I saw it was a huge production like He had to have like a couple cameramen or women and I mean somebody was filming him for sure. So yeah, this was kind of like uh, Downgrading this is a little bit less quality on that one but i'm glad you guys stuck around and uh i don't think i will be doing this for a while because my shit hurts but thanks a lot appreciate it like subscribe all right bye, -bye.